Okay, so uh, hi, Dr. Yashdeep. Welcome in this session. First of all, congratulations mm -hmm. in getting such an amazing rank of 101 in your INICT. How are you, Yashdeep? First of all, tell me. Ma'am, I was really, really, really happy when I checked the result. But uh, the next day, when I checked the counseling list, I was uh, a little disappointed that I might not get my desired bounce this time. So, but I am I'm really happy about my rank. Okay, okay. So, uh, like Yashdeep, like what? Like, when did you start preparing for INICT? Like, you have always uh, thought of INICT only or you were preparing for both NEET and INI together? And, you know, like, you just gave the exam uh, uh, INI first because it came. Uh, Ma'am, I was preparing for both the exams. Um, okay. And I started my preparation in fourth year, actually, when I joined DAMS. Okay. And in fourth year, I joined DAMS and I, you know... In fourth year, I built my concepts and uh, watched the videos and completed my notes. I never really made my handwritten notes, but I got the printed notes. And when my internship started, I was really slow at the beginning. With, I started with anatomy. I remember I completed in about two, three months. It took me two, three months to complete anatomy. But it is difficult, obviously, with internship. Yes, ma'am. And I did my UC, uh, uh, internship from UCMS, so it was really hectic at that time. So I didn't get much time. And so I started from my internship. Okay. Subjects. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, uh, how did you start preparing for your exams? Like, were you uh, mainly focusing at the end, like in the last one or two months, were you mainly focusing uh, your PYQs or the uh, MCQs or you were uh, revising the topics which you have read multiple times? So what was your approach? Or if, you know, because there are many students who are listening to us, so they wanted to know, like, how did you do in the end? Because end moment, I think the last few days are the toughest time and that strategy, what you use in the end is something which is very important for everyone, I guess. Uh, actually, I was not really expecting this rank in this NICT. I was uh, uh, hoping, you know, my goal was to get a rank around 1000 because uh, my preparation was of not that level. And uh, okay. I just came home on period 8, it was anything, and I had only 15 days in my hand for my revision. And by the end of internship, I completed my, I just completed my first feed of my notes. Okay. Um, in April, I started with my revision of, and I could do only one or two subjects in April. And then when I got home, uh, I started my serious prep at that time, and I had only 15 days, and I had to do whole of my syllabus in those 10 days only uh, so i just did what could i what i could do and uh, i did my pyqs in the uh, when i was doing the subjects only uh, and uh, during the last days i just focused on revising the theory part i couldn't give much tests and uh, I couldn't solve much MCQs, but I did watch recall videos on YouTube at mm -hmm. the last. Okay. So, like, uh, Yashdeep, what do you feel like? Because you mentioned that you joined DAMS in the final year and you have cleared the concept. So, was it very important? Because uh, some sometimes, you know, like, people just don't keep that point that concepts are also important and they just keep mugging the stuff. So what is your take uh, into the preparations that, you know, understanding the subject is more important than just reading it superficially? Um, in, in a, in especially in, a, in an exam like INICT, you have to focus on your concepts. And uh, it is more memory-based, I would say. And... Uh, like, for example, in INICT, there was a question on Frank Starling law, which pulse is there. Uh, so if your concepts are strong, you could have easily yeah. answered that it was pulses alternance. So that really helped. Mugging up would help you in NEET, but uh, not in INICT. 
Yes. So definitely the, the approach which we use here in DEMS, that is the concept clearing and that is very important. Yes, if you have to clear the exam like INICT and that's very great. And, uh, you know, like uh, I'm very happy that you got such an amazing rank. And just like I think your your only one or two revisions were done because you mentioned that your, your internship got completed in April and you have just read for a few more, uh, you know, like uh, months and you have cleared your exam very nicely. So. Uh, in the end, just one thing I wanted to ask, and actually most of the students who are listening to us would be interested in, uh, that uh, because you have so many things to cover in your exam, like your first year final, everything is there. So what was your approach? What you felt was the important subjects which everybody should read in detail and that should be revised in the end also so that, you know, like majority of the questions can be asked. So anything like that, if you have to uh, see throughout the paper, which was the important topics which should be covered during your preparation, any important subject, anything like that you want to tell to the students? Uh, Ma'am, for INICT, uh, it focuses more on first and second year subjects. So I kept those subjects to be revised at the end uh, in the last okay. seven days. And uh, the most volatile subjects like FMT and anatomy, micro, those I kept at the end. So that really helped me. And uh, uh, I did third and fourth year subjects at the beginning of my revision. Okay. Okay. So along with your internship, when you are going to the postings, you, you are reading that particular subject like that. Because final year is more recent for you. First year, second year, you did yes, long back. And that is why it is important to revise it in the end. And obviously, like uh, first year, second year, conceptual questions are more in INICT. Okay. So what was your take in this current paper? Did you feel that the paper was a little tough? Uh, if you have seen the past uh, papers or if you have given any other INICT, was it okay like that of INICT or you felt that the way they have asked the questions, there were more multiple choice and, you know, it was a little difficult. Although the topics were uh, frequently asked topics only, but they have made it a little difficult. So what is your take on it? Ma'am, actually, this was my first attempt at INICT. Uh, okay. So I didn't really know about nothing to compare with yes so true yeah. so uh, when i was giving the paper i felt uh, i could answer most of the questions so i was feeling confident yeah that how is it so easy and uh, when the exam got over everybody around me was like the paper was so easy so i thought uh, i am not getting anything <laughs> this time Okay. And the cutoffs will be high. And when I came back home and I was watching the recall videos also, um, I was really disappointed that, yeah. I expected but sure, it's good. In the end, like I think uh, most of the questions that you have marked should be right. And that is why you got a good rank. Yeah, ma'am, uh, like multiple correct options were, those were the tough questions in yes. which we had to choose the multiple correct statements. So there were two options that were confusing. And anatomy, I felt uh, that was tough. The image-based questions of anatomy. Otherwise, okay. it was worthy. OK, so yeah, there were actually the topics were the same, but the way of asking the questions were made a little difficult this time that more of multiple choice and, you know, uh, they have given an image and they've asked to discuss those images. But anyway, Yashdeep, it was a very, very nice, uh, you know, like you have achieved a good rank. Uh, nice talking to you also. Like there are many students who have definitely got uh, confidence that, you know, with your first attempt also, you can just clear it like that. So congratulations once again. and. Uh, uh, I think you get, like, I wish that you get whatever branch you have wished for in your exam, okay, uh, in your... Uh, thank you so uh, much, ma'am. So thank you, uh, Yashdeep, uh, and I think now we can end the session. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you.